Birmingham GT RC's taking my HSP out for a run and the GPS just died guys. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm looking behind me. <laughs> oh, something's done. Pinion, motor's moved. <laughs> last drive, last torque, I just hope it ain't come off. Nope, still on there. Motor's moved then. Yeah, I can't hear the kit. Gear mesh. Yeah, motor motor's not tight enough, guys. Sorry, it was looking like it was gonna go quick, so I better go and tighten up the motor. That's running on 2S guys, I don't know what speeds I'm doing, GPS died on me, but that's running on 2S. So we'll go and try 3S to see what that looks like. So all we can go by now is how it looks. Alright, let's give 3S a go, see what happens. Gears are gone again. Ah. Okay, so <clears throat> as you've seen in the video, we had some problems with the motor moving and so forth. So uh, I've fixed that now. Uh, I've got that running real nice. Let me just switch the lights on so you can get a better look. Okay, there you go. Lights on. So basically, uh, 29 tooth pinion 48. DP the gear depth it's choosing not to focus there guys here we go so uh yeah if you can see the two screws there you can see one a positive screw and the other is an allen key the positive screw one has thicker grooves than the normal m3 screws 
same length, same size, just to, with the thicker grooves, it screws into the motor so beautifully when you round off your screws in your motor. I'm sure some of you have had that problem with some motors, maybe it's just cheaper motors, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I just screwed in a screw with the thicker grooves and yeah, no problems. Okay, motor's tight, everything's tight. Just gave it a quick run. Make sure the GPS is reading. Okay, 13 mile an hour, it's reading. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's go straight at it, 2S. With my new 29 tooth pinion, 64 tooth spur. Let's see what we can get out of it. High speed run coming up, guys. Full throttle. That was full throttle. Let's have a look. Wow, 2S guys, 46 miles an hour. 46 miles an hour for 2S. Let's see if we can go a little quicker. Nice and straight, nice and straight. I don't think I touched the uh, steering once on that whole run. It ran the whole road without even touching the steering. Nice and straight, guys. Did we get any quicker? No. Still 46. Okay, let's go 3S, guys, and see what 3S gives us. Cold day out today, so the floor is a little slippery. Okay. Let's go free us and see what we get. Okay, 3S, last run was 46. I haven't reset it because it's, it's uh, set to peak. If you can see in there, it's set to peak. So we're gonna go for faster than uh, 46. So let's see what you can do on 3S. Ooh, that was quick. That was quick. That was quick. Oh, wow. 57 miles an hour, guys, 3S. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I think a little more tinkering, I might get this to 60 mile an hour. So yeah, I'm quite impressed. Let's go again. wasn't good let's just bring it back probably done my lights in <laughs> I didn't realize I'd hit the curb up there let's have a look no lights look up oh no what did I do there oh you can see there guys just caught the edge ah, no damage done 
But yeah, the paint job on the spoiler's crap. The paint's just coming off all over the place. That little knock there, and look, it's just chipped off a load of paint. Yeah, the spray didn't stick to the whatever, the plastic and it's, yeah. Anyway, just gives it that army color effect. <laughs> well, yeah, all good, all good. Steering's fine, everything's fine. A little bump in the curb. Let's see what we do. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, come see if I was at the curb at the top there. I just straight into it. close to the curb there, backed out a little early. Full throttle off the line, guys. Okay, let's... let's see if we've got any faster. Wow! 59 miles an hour guys 59 miles an hour i'm well impressed i'm well impressed guys 3s that's nearly 60 miles an hour on 3s i'm well impressed well impressed guys definitely well impressed It's too slippery out here, I can't get any grip. Okay guys, and that was my 3S and 2S run. That's the battery I used on my 2S run. Two cell, 6530C discharge. You've already seen that battery and you should have already seen my 3S battery, which I use in my other previous videos. Sorry for the label being slightly pulled off. So happens when you put tape on your batteries, but the same again, 6530C discharge, 3S. You can see the three lines there, 3S. Yep, 2S. Two wires in there. Okay, so 59 miles an hour. Very impressed from a very minimal setup. Probably would have got 60 if I disconnected the fan on the motor. But yes, guys, uh, the video stopped on its own. I don't know why it stopped recording, but it did. I thought I never recorded anything of my 3S run, but I did. But the actual car um, slowed right down to a crawling pace. I thought the battery was dead. A bit weird, because I fully charged it. And it, I was literally running it for like five minutes. Literally a minute or two after the, vid the video cut from the running footage, the battery died. But I now believe in it's probably not the battery. It's probably the ESC, the temps. Cause I was pulling a few donuts and all the rest of it, so I was giving it some. So I reckon it, it just cut the power to you know stop the EC burning out. So I reckon that's what happened there. But yeah, motor was fairly warm and EC was fairly warm. It wasn't hot. I could easily touch it like I am now. It wasn't baking hot, but at that moment the EC probably cut itself out, you know, and put it in crawling mode, in limp mode, stop you burning it out. So I brought it back. I'm going to put my battery on charge and actually see. How much juice is left in it because i don't think it was the battery but anyway in the meantime as well i'm going to solder on my bullets on the end of this ec which is 
Let's get the light and the focus. 120 amp. Similar, I think the amp I'm getting with my 4S is a 120 or a 150 amp. I think it's 150 amp. This is a 120 amp, but it's more or less the same as what's going to come with my 4S motor. So I'm going to swap out the ECs and see if this one gives me that little bit more speed and doesn't cut out. Let's see what happens. Stay tuned for my next running video, which will be with a 120 amp EC. Cheers, guys, and thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.